Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, the name of this video is, is called More or Less Than 1%. All right, and this the point of this video is to get you ready for lesson 4.9. All right, so first of all, what you've learned already is how to find 10% of a number by using the 10% rule. So to find 10% of a number, move the decimal, okay, one place to the left. All right, so let's say if we have uh, the number 780. Now, right now you don't see the decimal, right? Well, it's always at the end. So let's put a decimal there. And again, to get 10% of this, we're gonna move it one spot to the left. That really divides by 10. So that means 10% is gonna equal 78. All right, so 10% of 780 is 78. Now, knowing that, to find 1% of a number, okay, it's very similar, but this time, you move the decimal two places to the left. So let's say we have the number 520 and I want to get 1%, all right, just 1% of it. So again, the decimal's at the end and I'm gonna now move it over two spots to the left. So one and two. So that means 1% equals 5.2. All right, there's one more for me to show you. And that's how to find one tenth of a percent. And again, to find one tenth of a percent, you move the decimal three places to the left. Three places. So let's say, for example, if we have a number, say, I don't know, 58,000. And I want to get just one tenth of a percent. Well, you take the decimal and you move it over three spots one, two, and three. So that means one tenth of. of percent of 58,000 would be just 58. All right, another skill you're gonna to need to apply uh, for this lesson is you're gonna to need to know how to convert percents into equivalent decimals. So to convert a percent into equivalent decimal, you divide the percent by 100. All right, I'm gonna underline that, by 100. And to do this, you move the decimal point two places to the left. So here we have uh, the number 25%. And remember, you can write that as 25.0, okay? So to write this as an equivalent decimal, I'm gonna divide it by 100. Just remember, the way I do that, you move it two spots to the left, all right? You can always add a zero to the front. So that would be 0 0.25, all right? Here we have 32.1%, well again, I'm gonna move the decimal two places to the left. So one and two, right? So this would be 0 0.32 and one. And then finally we have 2.8%. So again, I need to move the decimal two places to the left, but notice all I have room is for one. So what you can do is you can add a zero. So I'm gonna move over one spot, but then I'm gonna add a zero and then move over one more spot. Okay, so 2.8% as a decimal would be 0 0.028. All right, there's one more skill I wanna show you before to get you ready for this lesson, all right? And that's how to find a percent of a number. And really, it's just a two-step process. So for this example, we're gonna say what is 9% of 200, all right? So the first step is you convert the percent into an equivalent decimal. So again, the way you do that is you take the percentage and you divide it by 100. So I know that 9% as a decimal is going to be 0 0.09. And the way I did that, again, I, I took the decimal and moved it two spots to the left and added zero like that, okay? Now what you do is you take that decimal and you multiply it by 200 because of in math means multiply, right? So I'm now gonna do 200 times 0 0.09. And when I do this, let's see, that's going to be zero, zero, and 18. 
and then zero, 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 and I add up the digits, right? So it'll be zero, zero, eight, and one. And now, again, here's the decimal point. Notice we have two digits to the right. So I'm gonna move in two digits this way, and the answer would be 18, all right? So again, the way we did that is we converted the percent into a decimal, and we multiplied the decimal by the number. All right, so let's take the new skill that you just learned, right? And let's apply it, right? So a salesperson earns 4% commission for each sale. So what exactly is the word commission? So the way salespeople make money, okay, is they get a percentage of what they sell. So the question is, how much do, uh, does a salesperson earn for selling a $35,000 car? So that means the salesperson gets 4%, okay, of $35,000. That's, that's the commission. So again, step one convert the percent into an equivalent decimal. So I know 4% as a decimal is 0 0.04. And then step two, we're gonna multiply the decimal by 35,000. So when I multiply 35,000 times 0 0.04, we get, okay, that's a zero, 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 zero zero two one four and then these are all going to be zeros one two three four five and now add them up so zero 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 four and one and then again here's the decimal and notice that there's two digits to the right so i'm going to move over two spots one and two and our answer is fourteen hundred dollars so a salesperson would earn $1,400 commission, okay, if they sell a $35,000 car and get 4% as their, their fee. All right, good luck.